My name is Helen. I live in New York and I have, I work in tech, I have a corporate job in tech. So dating and love for me looked like one of two things. The first was attracting emotionally unavailable men who were typically just breadcrumbing me, or I was letting them do that. Some, the type of man that just wouldn't commit and, or just wasn't either not willing to commit or not ready to commit, not wanting to commit, wanted to still keep options open. So just the non-committal man or the non-emotionally available man. And then the other pattern looks like nothing at all because I was avoiding dating period. Cause I had all these limiting beliefs based on that past experiences that would preclude me from even trying to put myself out there. So not great. I did have a couple of experiences where I would meet nice men and I wasn't interested in them for whatever reason. So just ultimately unsatisfying and unfulfilling. I joined Aligned Attraction for a few reasons. The first was I was going through some personal hardships in that I was struggling with anxiety. I wasn't sleeping well. And I was, I realized that anxiety was based in fear and fear of ending up alone. And when I dug a little bit deeper and realized I wanted to do some deeper inner work to excavate where the fear was coming from in relation to dating and just context of quote unquote, ending up alone. I reached out to Lee because I knew that she was an expert coach in this area. And in working with Lee before I've been able to have some breakthroughs. And I just knew that this program would give me the opportunity to do the deeper excavation and the deeper work that I've been needing to do all along. And the work itself isn't just about dating. It's about the relationship with yourself. So I knew that it would transcend other areas of my life, not just the dating was the entry point in which to do the work. But once you do the work, it permeates to other parts of your life as well. So that's so just knowing that I wanted to go on a guided, facilitated journey and someone to keep me accountable, but also to do it at my own pace as well was really helpful. And I really like the idea of small group cohorts, especially a container with other kind of like-minded women, even though we were in different parts of our journeys and different paths, we all contended with similar experiences. And it was really helpful to hear from one another as part of the work that I wanted to do. The relationship to myself now looks like a lot more connected. There are some breakthroughs that have happened super fast. And then it's a matter of me just practicing what I'm learning from the breakthroughs and making it more of an intentional habit. So things like listening to myself and having more trust in myself versus putting outsourcing that to others has been a really big shift for me. Listening to my intuition has been something that I've always known was there, but I actually trusted a lot more now. And I'm able to just rely on that a lot more within like the nudges that I get from my intuition. I'm able to just trust that more. I feel like in going through this program, I've been able to really get in touch with my inner desires that have been buried for a long time that I didn't even think I had anymore, but I ultimately realized that I was afraid to feel my desire. So through some of the work, I've been able to just release the things that have been holding me back around dating. And now I'm actually not afraid to date. I'm not afraid to get out there. And in fact, I've been getting out there. I actually am more excited about the potential opportunities that can come my way. And I truly believe that the relationship with myself is a direct reflection of the type of people I call into my life. And it's very evident. I'm still on the journey, but it's, for me, it's more of a priority to have that relationship with myself and create the boundaries for myself than it is to really be with somebody else right now, because I want to make sure that I'm sound within myself first. And at the same time, just letting the world kind of present people to me as I'm ready for them. But yeah, I'm, I have more excitement about just getting out there and dating. Whereas before I was completely avoidant about it and completely shut down. So that was, that's a big shift for me. And it was a tough one. And in the beginning, I didn't think I'd ever really get excited about getting out there and going on first dates, but 
now I'm actually, I welcome it because it's an opportunity to not learn about just other people, but really an opportunity to deepen my connection to myself and learn about what I truly continue to want and allow myself, allow my desires to evolve as well. So I look at dating as more of a fun way to get to know others and to get to know myself even more. The discernment that I'm able to achieve just from dating alone, like going out on first dates is key. Just, and I feel really good about going on a date. And then if it, it's a really great date, but I know I don't want to continue being this person. I, I feel great about it. I really do. And it's because I've learned something about myself. I learned something about another human on the planet. And before I would have been attached to outcomes. And now it's more about just learning the learning process, learning and expansion. I've been able to navigate my emotions a little bit differently in that I, in the past, I would think my way out of something instead of feel my way out of something. And that was really detrimental to my emotional health. In the past, if something, if a tough situation would spark a negative emotion, I would feel it briefly. And then I would try to override it with my thinking brain to create a different kind of perceived outcome. Whereas instead I now give myself the space, the unwavering presence to feel the emotion and to give myself the support that I need to feel those emotions because feeling them is the only way through. And once I feel those emotions, I'm able to access other emotions that I didn't think I had the capacity to feel. So if I feel sadness one day or frustration or disappointment, and not even just one day, but in a particular moment of the day, I just, I feel it. I give myself the unwavering presence to just sit there and feel it and process what I need to process. And then after that, I feel a different emotion like joy and excitement. Whereas before where I would just think myself out of an emotion, the emotion would just get stuck. It would remain, it wouldn't get processed out. And I would just perpetually feel that emotion and not able to feel other positive emotions. So truly feeling them, feeling the tough emotions is the only way through. And then it enables me to access other positive emotions that otherwise I wouldn't have felt. This moment where I thought or felt things were shifting for me were, it was around, was in the group coaching. It was in particular when we talked about the masculine and feminine energy or the polarities in the universe. And it was really cool to just hear the theoretical part of it, but then I had an opportunity to practice what that looked like. And I felt like once I started really implementing what masculine energy looked like for me and feminine energy looked like for me and how I could really practice those daily, I started to feel shifts in processing my emotions. And then as I got, as I had or created a relation, a more comfortable, transparent relationship with my emotions, I was able to authentically speak them in a group setting scenario, group coaching scenario, where I felt a certain way that was different than maybe what some of the other women were feeling. And I spoke truth to power and I felt like it was the right thing for me to do. And it was just really transformational for me because I felt the little micro transformations leading up to this moment where I was able to recognize what I was feeling. I was empowered to speak my truth. And then I felt supported and safe in speaking my truth. And that just gave me evidence that I am supported and it's okay to feel what I feel. And it just made me feel more emboldened and more empowered. So I embodied my emotions and they were met with just safety and love and compassion. And at that point, I felt like I was shifting in that I was able to just go continue to go even deeper and deeper. I think the biggest shift for me was just doing the inner child work in partnership with Lee and Ani, where I was really able to excavate a moment from my history and kind of revisit the emotions that was soliciting and rewrite the memory of it. And that I think was the biggest shift but it just takes a couple of deep dives to get to that place, which is what this program offers. It's a sequential deep dive into getting to know yourself and things at a deeper level. And then you get to a place where you really just rewrite a narrative in your mind and the emotions that come with that 
And it's a beautiful thing because then that kind of resets the template in which and how you look at things moving forward. What I think is possible for me now is are probably things I haven't even fully dreamt of yet. But what I think is possible for me is a true loving relationship with myself and having that matched in my 3D reality with somebody else coming into my life. I already have a lot of loving relationships in my life through friends, through family, through colleagues. And they're beautiful and relationship, loving relationships are abundant. They're all around. What I am excited for is to receive that level of love and compassion and commitment that I give to myself manifested into a man coming into my life. And I know that the 3D reality takes some time to catch up to what's in my subconscious, but I know that's possible for me. Something that I was surprised by in the program was how powerful it was to see Lee and Ani both embody masculine and feminine and really feel that kind of reparenting. I have never really experienced a safe container with a man I have with women. So to experience a container where I'm able to freely express myself and be received with love and compassion in a setting where there is a man, like a a mother, father kind of figure was really beautiful for me. And I just didn't, I didn't really know what to expect. Like I knew it was really cool to have Ani and Lee in like co-coaching, but the gravity of like the power of the masculine feminine dynamic embodied in these group coaching sessions was really, it was a surprisingly powerful aspect of the program that I just didn't really realize how powerful it would feel. The unique thing about working with Ani and Lee is they see you. They really see you. They see into your soul. They see into what you're trying to communicate. Even if you don't know what you're trying to communicate, they ask the right questions and they are penetrative in that they cut straight through the root of what you're feeling and they just unravel it and they coach you through it. And it's not just basic coaching, it's really speaking to the insides of your soul and unraveling the core issue or the core root of what's, what you're creating in that moment. And they walk you through, they walk, they hold the hand of your inner child and walk you out into a loving place where you are loving yourself. You're not just getting the love from them, but you're also learning how to love yourself in the process. The other women in the program, I feel like I would, I've never met them in person, but if I, if you were to invite me on a trip to go meet them, I would say hundred percent. Yes. I can't wait to meet them in person. I think the other women in the program, they're wonderful humans. They're strong humans. They're real. They're just very real. And they're, we built a lot of intimacy in the program with how much we shared so quickly and we were really supportive of one another. I felt like I could resonate with a lot of the women's stories, even though we're all in different places in our lives and on different journeys. But I feel like where these women were coming from, I could absolutely resonate with. And I felt the same about where I was coming from. It was very resonant for others in the program. And I just think that it was such a supportive, beautiful community of women. And it just felt weekly group therapy, but beyond just therapy, it was like weekly group transformations. And it was enabled by having a really safe and trusting container of women. If you're considering joining the program, absolutely do it. If you want to level up your life in that you want to create abundance of love and compassion for yourself and for those around you, it's remarkable in how you just start seeing and feeling compassion for others that you've never felt before. And it'll just blow your mind. Like You won't even know the changes that happen until you go through it. And it's the changes that you need, not necessarily the changes that you want. Usually they're one in the same, the changes that you need and the changes that you want, but you get the changes that you need. And if you want to stay in your comfort zone, then don't do the program. If you're looking to dive deeper into your 
soul and who you are. And if you really want to get to know yourself better and what you're made of, this is the program to join. It's not for the faint of hearts, but it can be if you want it to. It's not, it's totally self-paced and what you give is what you get. You can go along for the ride and listen to others and just be on the periphery, or you can really take, you can dive in and just be pleasantly transformed in the microest ways or in the macroist of ways. So it's really up to you on the level of transformation. But if you really want to level up your relationship with yourself and with others, this is a program to join.